Hey everybody, Victoria Marie here, producer director of Gray is the New Blonde. Uh, this is May 2019 and I have lots to talk about um, when the DVDs will be sent out, when the movie will premiere here in Los Angeles, and uh, the three awards that Gray is the New Blonde has now won. So the most exciting, of course, is the fact that Gray is the New Blonde has won some awards. Um, it was totally unexpected. I did not set out to do the film to win any film festival awards, and that's what these awards are. But on a fluke, um, I decided to submit the trailer, I guess it was two months ago, so maybe it was in was it March or April? Somewhere in there, I thought, let me just give it a shot. I figured I had nothing to lose. The submission fee was, I don't know, 50 or $60. And lo and behold, we won an award for the trailer. Um, and then I was invited to submit to another film festival. And again, I submitted the trailer because the full length feature film was not really ready to be submitted. And again, we won another award for the trailer. Then uh, maybe two weeks ago, I the film was ready to be submitted, meaning the full length feature film was ready to be submitted to be judged to see if it was worthy of an award. And lo and behold, it won the most prestigious award a documentary can, can win, which is best feature documentary. So, I mean, I'm, I'm kind of shocked, but of course extremely happy because now that is a confirmation back to me that the film is really good. Because honestly, you know, when you're in the thick of it, you think you have a good film, but you don't know for sure. No one has seen the film except for Dave and I, but now other people have seen the film, meaning the judges for the film festival that we just won the full length feature film award for. And then one of the featured Silver Sisters, Rosa Medina, she actually surprised us at the screening. And please know, that the screening that took place on Saturday, yeah, today is Monday, um, was a screening. It was not the premiere. The film has not been released because that screening actually is um, an earlier rendition and it isn't even the finished, finished product. Um, we are, I added a little bit more music. I cleaned up a couple of things. I've been both blessed and cursed with the perfectionist gene. So I um, am still tweaking it and I just don't want to release it to the world, to people who have purchased the DVDs, to other film festivals, to theaters, until I feel like I have done everything that I can do to make this film pristine because it's going to outlive me. It's going to outlive all of us who are in the film. It really makes a statement about the times that we are experiencing right now in 2019. And of course, back to 2015 when I first started working on the film. So 50, 60, 75 years from now, people who are in the entertainment industry and women and just the general public can look back at this film and know what women were experiencing as far as our hair and gray hair and our culture and what it says about women, et cetera, um, what we were facing at this time in history. Because even though it's not history to us, at one point in time, it will become history. So, um, I don't want this to be out there until I feel like it's as good as it's going to get. And I am almost there. I mean, I'm talking, I'm days away from it almost being there, but that is part of why the um, 
release date, the premiere date keeps getting pushed back. So bear with me, but I don't want to deliver anything to any of you until I feel like this is the bomb. So um, again, the screening that took place was in a tiny little theater. It was on a projection screen. It wasn't a theater in terms of like the movie theaters that we go to to see a film. Um, it had one of those pull down things that you can project onto, a, you know, the movie onto a screen. I want to say it had 30 seats in it. So, so it was not really anything other than a screening, but I'm really glad I got to see it on a big screen like that and not just my computer screen. And Rosa loved it. So that made me feel like, okay, so it's a good film. So not only the judges, gave us this award, but Rosa also said it's a really good film. She loved it. That was her initial, she loved it. All right, um, the DVDs. So it says it on the website, but I know a lot of people ordered it probably from their phones and they just didn't see it. And it's not fine print. It's like right there on top. The DVDs will be shipped out to coincide with the premiere because of course, I don't want the DVDs floating around and the, the movie hasn't premiered yet. That wouldn't make any sense. So just know that the DVDs will be shipped out to everyone to coincide with the premiere of the film, which will be announced in a matter of weeks. So here we are, almost June 1st. I don't know, the premiere is gonna be sometime in the summer, July, end of July, and I will, try to make the premiere a date that works for everybody, which will be a little difficult, but I'm still going to ask everyone, when's the best time for you and try and do it that way. Cause it's only gonna be one, one showing, just one showing here in LA, and then I'll put it out to the rest of the country. And then um, I think that was it. And if I missed anything, you know, I've got so much on my mind. So um, please forgive me. And if I missed anything, just ask the question below the video and I'll do my best to answer it. So until next time, ciao for now.